what I'm saying quite critically is it takes two to talk, right? Yeah. So the aliens might be there, but if we, are, if we don't have the ability to recognize them and talk to them, then the aliens aren't going to want to talk to us. And I think that's a critical point that probably um, if, if, that is a, if that's a filter, there needs to be an ability for one to communicate with the other, and we need to know what, what life is before we do that. So we haven't qualified to even join the club to have a talk. Well, I think they still want to, teach us how to talk, right? But my, my worry is that, uh, or I, I think they would want to teach us how to talk like you do when you meet it. Uh, like when you even meet, I, I was gonna say child, but that's a human species. I, I mean like a uh, ant, you want to try to communicate with them through whatever devices you can, given, given what an ant is like. I just, I worry mostly about that humans are just too close-minded or don't have the right tools. No, I'm gonna push back on this quite significantly. I would say, because we don't understand what life is, and because we don't understand how life emerged in the universe, we don't understand the physics that gave rise to life yet. And we, that means our description, fundamental description, I'm way out of my pay grade, even further out there. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I'll say it anyway, because I think it's fun. You don't get paid much anyway, So as you said <laughs> earlier, so. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so I would say that we, because we don't understand the universe yet, we do not understand how the universe spat out life. And we don't know what life is. And in, I think that until we understand that, it is gonna limit our ability to even, um, we don't qualify to talk to the aliens. So I'm going to say that the, 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 they might be there, but we just, I'm not going to say that I believe in interdimensional aliens being present. In yeah, but room. I think you're just being self-critical. Uh, like we don't qualify. I think, I think the fact that we don't qualify qualifies us. We're interesting, we're interesting in our innocence. No, I'm saying that because we don't understand ca causal chains and the way that information is propagated in the universe, mm -hmm. and we don't understand what replication is yet, and we don't understand um, how life emerged, I think that we would not recognize aliens, and they. And if if someone doesn't recognize you, um, you wouldn't go and talk to it. You don't go and talk to ants. You don't go and talk to birds, or maybe some birds you do, right? Because you can. There's a, just enough cognition. So I'm saying because we don't have enough, cogn our cognitive abilities are not yet where they need to be. We probably haven't been communicating with them. So you don't agree with the uh, dating strategy of playing hard to get, because. <laughs> Us humans, with, that within, seems to attract us. Within a, within a species, that's fine. But I think okay. we don't have the actual abstraction. No, I, I actually, I think you've in, in this talk, in this conversation, you've helped me crystallize something that I think has been troubling me for a long time with the Fermi paradox. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that a, a reasonable avenue is to say that you would not go and talk to your cat about calculus, right? But I would still pet it. Sure, but I'm not talking about petting a cat. The analogy is that the aliens are not going to talk to us because we, and I'm using calculus as an analogy for abstraction, mm -hmm. because we, we, we lack the um, layer, the fundamental layer of understanding what life is and what the universe is in our reality, that it's, it would be so counterproductive interacting with intelligent alien species that it would cause more angst for the uni for human race. Um, well, they don't care. Okay, they got to be self interested, so they'll probably they more care about is it interesting for them. Maybe they, I mean, surely there's a way to to, to pat the to pet the cat <laughs> in this <laughs> in this analogy because um, even if we lack complete understanding, it's it must be a very frustrating experience for for other kinds of intelligence to communicate with us, still there must be a way to interact with us. Well, so, like perturb the system in interesting ways to see what these creatures do. We might actually find the answer. I mean, again, out of my pay grade in, in, um, in a simulation of Earth, or say, let's say a simulation where we allow an intelligent AI to emerge, right? And that, and that AI, we then give it, um, the objective is to be curious, interact with other intelligence in its universe, and then we might find the um, the parameters required for that AI to walk with. And I think you'll find if the the AI will not talk to other AIs that don't share a, 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 the ability to abstract at the level of the AI, because it's just a cat. And would you, are you going to travel twenty light but, years to go and pet a cat? So not because of the 
inability to do so, but because of like boredom, it's a, it's more interested. It will start talking to. It will spend most. It will spend a majority of its time talking to other AI systems that can at least somewhat understand. It's it. much more fun. It's a bit like, do we know that plants are conscious? Well, plants aren't conscious in the way we typically think, but we don't talk to them. They could be, right? Yeah, on but a... there's a lot of people on Earth who like gardening. There's always going to be a weird. They're not weirdo... talking. They're just gardening. Okay, well, you're not romantic enough to see gardening as a way of communication between humans. And oh, plants. okay, you got me. <laughs> but there's there's ways. There's always going to be the people who are curious. Jane Goodall, who lives with the uh, with the chimps, right? Mm -hmm. There's always going to be curious, intelligent species that visit uh, the weird or Earth planet and and try to interact. I mean, it's it's a uh, yeah. I, I think it's it's a super cool idea that you're expressing. I just uh, kind of have a sense. Maybe it's a hope that there's always going to be a desire to interact even with those that don't can't possibly understand the depth of what you understand so i'm with you that look, so i want to be as positive as you that we the aliens do exist and we will we will interact with them what i'm trying to do is to give you a a reasonable hypothesis why we haven't yet yeah. and and also something to strive for to be able to do that i mean i, I you know i there, there is the other view that that, that, that the universe is just too big and, and life is just too rare. But I want to make come up with an alternative explanation, which I think is a, reasonable and not been philosophically and scientifically thought out, which is this, this if you can't actually communicate with the object, the person, the thing, competently, you don't even know it's there, yeah. then, then there's no point yet. 